Hi guys, welcome to Full Time Devils. I am Adam McCullough outside a very, very, very gloomy Old Trafford. And that picture that I can see right there, the words Manchester United behind the gloom, sums up how I feel. And the whole mood around the ground today, look, hear me out here, because this might go on for a little bit of a while. I'm gonna talk about the match first, just the 90 minutes, and then I'm gonna talk about how I felt, because this felt different today. I'm not gonna say it was a turning point because nothing will ever get rid of those leeches unless you got three to four billion pounds. But this felt different today. The game, 2-0 to Burnley. Manchester United didn't deserve to win. The first 45 minutes, we created a number of opportunities. Mata should have scored. Anthony Martial should have scored. Uh, Daniel James could have scored. Produced a good save from Nick Pope at the, at the back post with a header. Besides that, the football was way too slow, wasn't intuitive enough, wasn't slick enough. We weren't creating enough chances. The players looked tired. The players looked physically done. They looked like they were out of ideas and there was no inspiration coming from the bench at all. The second half got worse. Manchester United got worse. The performance got worse. Um, and look, the first goal came from a mistake from Harry Maguire. Played everyone on side. Didn't understand that. I don't understand why he's got the armband so soon. It feels like we've rewarded him for, like, if it, the Man United armband should be something you've got to earn, do you know what I mean? He's just arrived, big money, hasn't really lived up to it, and we've given him the armband. Feels like a strange decision to me, and it was a bad decision by him to play everybody on side because that's how they got the opening goal for the 1-0. The second goal was a fantastic bit of work by Jay Rodriguez to ping it in the top corner. I'm not going to lie, that was a fantastic goal and a great strike by Rodriguez. But United in the second half, we didn't create anything. We didn't look like we were going to score. We had a goal disallowed by Luke Shaw for a push when there was like a minute left to go. But overall, we didn't look like we were going to score out there today. We didn't look like we were going to turn the game around. As soon as Burnley scored, I thought that was it. We might get a draw if we were lucky, but nothing else. We didn't create enough chances. Mason Greenwood came on at halftime for Andreas Pereira. We didn't create anything for him. And it was just one of those really, really frustrating days. Frustrated with the performance, frustrated with the team, the players, but then also understanding like, these boys are going to be tired. There's a lack of a squad. We've got no depth. We've got no midfield. Matic, how many games can he play? Um, you know, we've got Phil Jones in the defence. But then also, part of me makes me think, what were we doing out there? We consistently try and play out from the back. We did it against Man City here. We did it today. We've got Phil Jones. We've got Matic. And we've got Maguire. We're going on like we've got Busquets, PK, and Puyol. What are we trying to do, playing out from the back there? And we consistently try it. There's no one taking responsibility. No one saying, actually, you know what? This isn't working. Let's try something else. Let's go long. Let's do this. It's just poor, 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 poor. And we constantly invite pressure on ourselves. We constantly put our defenders under pressure. We constantly do it. And I feel sorry for Phil Jones and Maguire because one, Maguire's all right at times, but they're not good enough passing the ball out from defense. But two, there doesn't seem to be anyone saying, OK, stop doing that. Let's pick out wide. Let's go wide. Let's do this. Let's let's try and change things up. It's just not good enough. And there was no inspiration coming from the bench. Someone else said it. No one on the side of the lines trying to change anything. Nothing coming from the manager. And to be fair to him, he's got very little he can do. Now, here's where I want to go away from the 90 minutes, because today this felt like something different. It felt like a culmination of the Glazer ownership and it felt like a culmination of the last six years. This started in 2005, if we're honest. It was delayed by the genius of Sir Alex Ferguson. And since he's left Manchester United, the decline has been escalated. They have abused this club financially, taking millions and billions of pounds out of Manchester United. And we are seeing the results of that. Their poor decision making at a managerial level in picking managers, their poor decision making at a level of picking someone who will make the football decisions, the poor decision making at a transfer market level, just poor decision making everywhere. And it's culminated in this today, a billion pounds sucked out, culminated in this today. Very little activity in the market. We've got an accountant making our decisions. We've got an accountant trying to make football decisions. We've got an accountant trying to make football transfers. No other football club as big as United would be doing this. Leicester City are run better than us. Look at their acquisitions. Look at their success in the transfer market. And look, you can say owners of a billion pound company aren't going to be stupid. 
But you have to be stupid to let someone like Ed Woodward make those decisions. You have to be stupid to allow this football club to be run like this because the money that you're going to be able to extract out of this club is going to decrease for the longer that we don't have success on the pitch. We're seeing City, we're seeing Liverpool are financially closing the gap on us. And we're also seeing that the whole host of Premier League clubs are improving and getting better than us. There's no improvement coming from Manchester United. So this is one thing like we can all disagree on whether we, Martial's the man up top or whether the squad's good enough or who we should sign in the transfer market. We can all disagree on whether the manager's good enough for the job or not. I'm starting to think, look, I want to give him time. I want him to succeed. I want him to prove me wrong. I said it from the start when he was given the job. I don't think he's the man for the job. He's been thrown in at the deep end and he's been made a scapegoat. And these Woodward and Glazers think they're going to get an easy ride for it, but they're not. Because we're not going to get on Ollie's back inside the stadium. We're not going to start chanting Ollie out. We're not going to start doing that to one of our legends. Yes, he might be out of his depth. Yes, he might be making the wrong decisions. But ultimately, where we are right now is a culmination of decisions made by the Glazers and Ed Woodward. It's as simple as that. It is not Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's fault that we're here. It is not Jose Mourinho's fault that we're here. It's not Van Hall's fault that we're here. It's not Moises, it's not Fergie's. It's not any of the, their faults that we're here. Yes, some of those people made wrong decisions along the way. Fergie appointing Moyes, Moyes with his signings, uh, Van Hall with some of the decisions he made, Jose Mourinho with some of the decisions he made and decided to burn the house down before he left. Yes, those managers made some bad decisions along the way, but it's decisions of those above them that have ultimately led Manchester United to be in this position that we are in, falling behind our rivals, falling behind Manchester City, falling behind Liverpool and falling behind even the likes of Leicester City. City. This is the effect of the Glazers. We've no longer got Sir Alex Ferguson's genius to save us. And as a result, we're declining faster than ever. And it was shown in that stadium today. It came out, there were 70 odd thousand people in there, probably out of season tickets sold and stuff, but not many people turned up. I'd say there was at least 10,000 less because there was rows and rows empty around me. People are voting with their feet and people are starting to be vocal about who they blame. We chant Ollie's name and we chant against the Glazers and Woodward. And that shows you they need to start getting real. They need to stop briefing and start acting. And if you don't want to be here for Manchester United and to be making the right decisions to make United great again, then please do us all a favour and fuck off. Please. Guys, there's going to be fan cams on the way coming up right now. Make sure you keep liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing. Keep it locked to Full Time Devils. It's been an emotional day here at Old Trafford. I stayed to the end because I thought you have to drink this in. You have to enjoy the success. Um, uh, well, you have to take the failure as much as you do the success. And when we are successful again, I'll remember this day. I really will. I really will because that wasn't a great day to be a United fan. Anyway, keep it coming on Full Time Devils. We'll see you later.